Yep, I can see the telltale. Water's coming out. Definitely running a lot wetter. Top shaft is eighth inch above the spots and it hops on this going this way. That is so interesting. Why? Try it going faster. Turning towards. Alright, does better if you keep that speed up. Yep, there you go. Beautiful turn to the right. Definitely wet though. Look at this. I might have to come up to 16. That's full pin. And I'm gonna watch these temperatures. Check this telltale out. There it is, peeing. Nice. Bring it by one more time. Prop blast pickup is working. Whoa, sweet. Keep that speed up on that turn. Samuel. All right, that's a minute and a half. That was stupid. I'm gonna go get out of there. Okay, I recovered the tunnel jet. That was some thick, tangled up scum over there. I never gave it a thought. Some poor driving on my part. Quick check of temperature, so I think it's cooled down a bit already. Fifty two. Fifty two. So I got another minute and a half on this lipo. Let's heat her back up again. Or let's run it again. Hopefully it's not heating up. Okay. I should adjust that. I will on the next lipo adjust that strutter height he's a bit running a bit wet but it'll be a good severe test on the electronics as far as them staying cool all right i'm gonna run this battery out and we'll check temps make sure she's okay before i have to do another recovery feels Fine. Full throttle turn. Oh, need more turn with this wet setting. Let's adjust the dual rates. Or the rates, as you say, my driving mode. Take it up to 35 maybe. Fumble fingers here. All right. Woo, I don't like that. Let's see the telltale coming by here. Yep, water's coming out nice. Full pin, and there's my timer. Bring her in. Get a quick temperature check. All right. See how she's doing. Oh, I just ran that hard and that is nice and cool. 
62 and a half with my El Cheapo that gets a better reading. 55 and a half on the water jacket, 56 on the bell end. So it works. It works crazy well. Lipo's at 55. And we ran our lipo down to 11.5, perfect. 3.83, 3.82, 3.81. So right down to storage charge. That is like the ideal setup. Okay, I'm gonna adjust the height of the strutter. I brought my gauge with and we'll run it again. Here's why I like operating like this. There is my center line of the prop shaft. I went to a 16th above the bottom of the sponsons. Get yourself some of that. You know what you got. All right, I feel confident enough to pretty well just run this three minutes. See how the temps do. We'll probably also have to play with the driving mode rate, the steering. I think it's gonna steer a little um, better now with it loosened up. So definitely a little bit looser. Let's check our telltale coming by. I can see it. I don't know if you can see it on camera. Full trigger. I got them logs there. I'm worried about uh, parking it in the logs. So I'll do a little, some left hand turns for a bit here. Check out this the rate steering rate so full throttle on the straights 100 percent throttle on the straights 90 percent in the turns and just full turn i'm running it hard i'm giving her the beans check my time where i'm at now a little over a minute and a half in. Full throttle, 90%. By full turn, I mean full turn on the steering wheel. Just turn it to the stops with the rate set two uh, rate settings on the steering. Full trigger. 90% throttle on the turns. And I got a minute left. Should I check it now or do I trust my water cooling? I think I'm going to trust it. She feels nice to me. I'd be real surprised that it's burn up when I bring this in. That was really cool. Felt cold to my fingers too. This would be the ultimate test. If it passes this test, just give her the beans for three minutes. I'm gonna be real pleased with this modification. Full throttle, full trigger. Here we go, full trigger, late in the battery run. There you can see the telltale, hopefully on camera. And there I am, last 10 seconds. Hit something. I think I'm tangled with something, for sure. There 
we go. Got hung up on something. Little piece of debris. And let's check the temps. Full three minute run. Very cold to the touch. Awesome. 54 degrees, 53 degrees, 56 on the end, 55 on the water jacket. And that's, yeah, that's cool to the touch. So let's check the lipo where I'm at. This is looking like a pretty nice setup now. Eleven point four, three point eight, three point eight, three point eight. Perfect. <laughs> oh man, that just makes a guy happy. A worthwhile water cooling prop blast pickup that works. Beautiful, nice telltale coming out. I can see it, I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but there you go. Water cold F1 outboard tunnel haul. Dr. Jet's um, tunnel jet. That exceeded all my expectations on this water cooling modification. To go from motor temperatures climbing north of 130 degrees Fahrenheit and mountain wires on 3S to a full three minute run coming in at 55 degree motor temps. Next time out, running on 3S with a 3200 kV motor, giving her the full send. 